Okay, so let's have this topic. So finding the sum of this infinite geometric series. And this is the formula to find the sum of this infinite geometric series. So we have this problem. So find the sum of the terms. So first, we need to find the common ratio. And to find this common ratio, so using this formula that a sub 2 over a sub 1 or you can use a sub 3 over a sub 2 then in the given terms the first term is a sub 1 and the second term that's a sub 2 so to find now the common ratio so a sub 2 is 6 over a sub 1 that's 12 and this 6 divided by 12, so reduce, divisible by 6. So 6 divided by 6, that's 1. Then over this 12 divided by 6, that's 2. So therefore, the common ratio is positive 1 half. Then to find the sum of this infinite geometric series, so we have a sub 1 and a sub 1 is 12. Then over 1 minus r. So the common ratio, that's positive 1 half. Then simplify, so we have this 12, then over this 1 minus 1 half. So 1 minus 1 half, that's positive 1 half. Then simplify, so this 12 divided by 1 half. So we can rewrite this one as 12, then times the reciprocal of this 1 half, that's 2 over 1. Then simplify, so this is over 1, so multiply the numerators, 12 times 2, that's 24 over, multiply these denominators, so 1 times 1, that's 1. So therefore, the sum of this infinite geometric series is positive 24. Then for this given, so again, we need to find the common ratio. So, to solve for the common ratio, that's a sub 2 over a sub 1. So, this is a sub 1 and this one is a sub 2. So, a sub 2, that's 2 over 3 over a sub 1, that's 1. Then, we can rewrite this one as 2 over 3, then times the reciprocal of 1, that's 1. So, therefore, the common ratio is 2 over 3. Then, to solve now for the sum of this infinite geometric series, so a sub 1, that's 1, then over 1 minus the common ratio, that's 2 over 3. Then, to simplify, so we have 1, then over so we can use cross multiplication for this equation so we just need to put one as the denominator then apply cross multiplication one times three that's three then minus one times two that's two then over this one times three that's three then simplify so we have one then over this 3 minus 2, that's 1, then over 3. Then simplify. So this 1 divide by 1 over 3, so we can rewrite this one as 1, then times the reciprocal of this 1 over 3, that's 3 over 1. Then we have this over 1, so multiply 1 times 3, that's 3, then over 1 times 1, that's 1. So, therefore, the sum of this infinite geometric series is positive 3.